This is Mary Emily H. Colopez from the Blessed Virgin Missionaries of Carmen. In these past few years, we have been experiencing different kinds of hardship and difficulties, starting off with the COVID-19 pandemic. With a typhoon attack last December, and of course, the recent war between Ukraine and Russia, which affects global economic crisis. This situation actually reminds us of our vulnerability as a human being. That there are many times we have been in the situation to test our faith. This is a reminder for us to step back and look with our relationship with God. The positive sides of every situation is very essential. COVID-19 pandemic brings about valuable things, such as going back to the root, to the basic, going back to our family. And it also enlightens every individual how important it is to pray, how important it is to cling to our God in these difficult times. Typhoon Odette also brings about the Bayanihan spirit, which my neighbor is my concern. What am I going to do to help others? And the recent declaration of war between Russia and Ukraine brings about global economic crisis. But then, we do believe the power of prayer, that one day, all these things will have an end. That is why as we celebrate this Lenten season, we do come to mind that we have to pause for a while and see what will be our relationship with God. And we come to ask ourselves, where am I in my relationship with God? Am I praying because I'm going to ask something? Or am I praying because I want to be with my God? And the silence of our hearts in this Lenten season, try to ask ourselves, am I true enough to be a Christian? And am I true enough the followers of Christ? And yesterday, we celebrate the great feast of St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. He is not just an icon of righteousness, but also a model of a just man. Aside from that, he is a man of discernment and a man of strength. He never leaves Mary and Jesus alone in their difficulties. Rather, he always looks for what the solution will be. And with this, we also try to make it a point that whatever difficulties and hardships that comes in our way, let us not abandon our faith. Rather, we are going to look on what prayer is. And we have to discern and we have to look what the positive side would be because it is actually a test of our faith. Only God can sustain us with His grace. And with this, ask ourselves, am I responding to the grace of God? Thank you and God bless us all.